Hello everyone, this is Suzanne. Welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to discuss a very important topic which I think you should know. And this is about travel scams. More specifically, common travel scams that you need to know. Yeah. Vacations are intended to explore the world and to make memories. In most cases, this is the outcome. However, there are some instances that local con artists take advantage of naive travelers and turn their world upside down. I'm going to discuss common travel scams and practical ways on how to avoid them. We go to number one, bump and grab scam. This is the most common travel scam wherein a thief or a group of thieves distract you with a bump and proceed to lift all your valuables off your purse or your wallet. This is most popular in buses and in metros. Victims of this method are often swarmed with several people pushing them while at the same time pick their pocket. Another trick is to grab the wallet, the bag, or the purse of someone sitting near the door and get off the metro just as the doors are closing. The best way to avoid this travel scam is to stay one step ahead of the thief. Spread out all your valuables and never keep all your valuables, most specifically your passport, in one place. Two, never put a wallet or any valuable at the back pocket of your pants. Three, opt for a crossbody bag or wallet or purse, most specifically with a zipper. And never use a flimsy one button bag or purse. And number four, pay attention. Whenever you're in a tram, subway, or bus, always put your hand immediately on the zipper of your shoulder bag. We go to number two, scam, distraction. There are two variations of this travel scam. This is how it goes. Someone may put something on your body, most specifically at the back. It can be ketchup, mustard, soy sauce, or anything to distract you. Or sometimes a substance will be thrown at you from an unknown location. Then, a seemingly innocent bystander will come to tell you that there's something on your back and then will offer you a tissue. The point of this travel scam is to get you off your backpack, your purse or bag, or your camera. If someone tells you that there's something on your back, don't ever take off your backpack, your purse, your wallet, or your camera to check. Instead, keep walking and ignore good Samaritans. And only remove your bag when you know that you are in a safe and secure location. We go to number three, taxi scams. There are so many taxi scams around the world. In many places, people pose as taxi drivers even though they're not licensed or are qualified. A common taxi scam is that many taxi drivers will take you on a wild goose chase, driving you to establishments that pay them commission rather than taking you to your desired destination. The best way to avoid this travel scam is to search on Google on the official taxi of that destination. It's easy to do a Google search to find out what official taxi callers are off the destination you are visiting. If you need a taxi when landing at the airport, then just go to the official taxi stand or go to the official taxi office before you leave the airport. Now, if you're at the hotel, then go to the concierge, the bellboy, or even the manager and request for a taxi. We go to number four, bus scams. Buses can be one of the riskiest places to be separated from your belongings when traveling. It's important to remain diligent when traveling on a bus and keep an eye on these travel scams. Now, these are the common travel scams on the bus. Number one, a stranger will help you stow your bag above your seat while his companion picks your pocket or slashes your backpack. Number two, a good Samaritan will stow your luggage, then suddenly takes off with your bag or hands it off to the runner in front of the bus. Number three, bus travel scam. While you're sleeping, when you wake up, all your belongings are gone. The best way to avoid these travel scams is to be extremely wary of these overly helpful locals. And of course, to keep an eye on your belongings. Keep your most valuable possessions as close to you and never allow strangers to touch or handle your bag. We go to number five, broken taxi meter scam. Taxi drivers near airports, subways, tram, or bus stations often use this scam, but it can happen anywhere. However, you have to take note, not all taxi drivers are scammers, huh? 
Now, this is how it goes. When you get into a taxi and they start to drive, the taxi driver will inform you that his meter is down or broken and charge you with a very ridiculous price. Some taxi drivers might even charge you $100 if you're not careful. To avoid these, negotiate rates ahead of time or ensure that the meter is working before you get in. If the taxi driver refuses to turn on the meter or tells you it's cheaper without the meter on, then immediately get out and opt for another driver. Now we go to the sixth scam, overbooked or closed hotel scams. This scam involves a taxi driver and an expensive hotel or even hostel. The driver's job is to make you believe that your hotel is either overbooked or closed, or even say that it's a terrible choice. Now, he will then recommend a pricier place where he gets a cut of what you pay. You can avoid this by making hotel reservations in advance and schedule a pickup if the hotel offers a shuttle service. We go to number seven, attraction is closed scam. A common travel scam in major tourist areas in which some friendly locals who happen to speak good English, huh? will approach you and inform you that the attraction you want to visit is closed for a number of reasons. Either it's a holiday, or there is a religious ceremony, or they're doing some disinfecting, etc. Then they're going to guide you to another attraction or shop where you're pressured to purchase something or pay a lot for entry. Avoid the scam by checking out the official site of the attraction that you're going to, or asking other shop owners or the ticket counter for verification. We go to number eight, the ring scam. There are a lot of ring scams in Europe, most especially in Rome, in Prague, and other European tourist destinations like the Eiffel Tower, the Colosseum, and other touristy places. So always be on guard when visiting these famous sites. Now this is how it goes. As you walk along the street, a ring falls on the ground in front of you, and a woman runs to pick it up, asking if it's yours. If you say no, the kind passerby will offer to sell it to you. Now, if you say you don't want it, they will keep on pestering you until you hand them some money. The best way to avoid these travel scams at popular tourist destinations is to keep a serious look on your face. Don't make eye contact and give the impression that you're well-traveled, even if you're not. When people approach you, give a serious no. And that gives the impression that you're already fallen for this scam. So they can't fool you twice. We go to number nine, free jewelry scam. This travel scam is common in beaches and in cities and tends to target female travelers. Now, this is how it goes. A man or a woman may strike up a friendly conversation, then place a free bracelet on your wrist. Now, before you depart, they will demand money and refuse to take the jewelry back. These are often the handmade craft that supports their family. Now, when you refuse, they're going to create a scene. Now, how to avoid this scam? Never, never allow anyone to put something on your body. And be extremely wary of accepting anything for free unless there's a good reason for it. Especially in very touristy areas, huh? Ignore them and keep walking. We go to number 10, group photo offer. While hanging out in a busy tourist location or landmark, Posing as a helpful citizen, someone might approach you or your group to take a photo. As you're getting ready to pose for your Facebook shot or your Instagram photo, you look up and realize that this helpful person disappeared with your camera. To avoid this, you really need to read the situation. A safer situation is when you approach someone instead of handling your camera to a person that approaches you. Busy city attractions are the riskiest place for this. Now, if you really have to, then ask a fellow tourist to take your picture and return the favor. This is what I did when I traveled to New York alone. I was alone and no one will take my picture. I just asked any fellow tourist there and they were very happy to do it for me. We go to number 11, fake police scam. This is very popular in many large cities. Most often, a person will approach a tourist and offer illicit items, example, drugs. Then, out of nowhere, Police officers appear flashing their badges, and then they will ask you for your wallet and your passport. However, they're not police officers. Now, never, never hand these things to them. Instead, let them know that you're going to call the police to confirm that they're not scammers. You can also lie and tell that your passport is at your hotel. We go to number 12, friendly ATM helper. Beware of people hanging out around ATM machines, especially overseas. 
They may insist that they may help you save on transaction fees when their true intent is to skim your credit card and your PIN so they can drain your accounts later. To avoid this scam, never let anyone near you when you're making a transaction in the ATM. And always cover the keypad when entering your PIN code. Now, if someone approaches, then take your card and leave. Now, we go to number 13, the friendly local scam. Usually, the local people are like that, friendly locals trying to help, but other times they're not. Locals might approach you and say they want to practice their English and learn about your country. Then, a few minutes later of chatting, they invite you to their office or their shop. Now, you feel very obligated to this nice friend and soon find yourself in a high-pressured selling situation to buy art or jewelry. There's no harm talking to the locals, especially when they're very friendly. But to avoid this, when you talk to someone, simply be aware that this could happen. Keep an eye on your belongings, keep your valuables locked in their zippers, and when they ask you to come with them, say no or make a very good excuse. You have the right to say no, and if they keep on pressuring you, tell them that you need to be somewhere else and cut them off. Now here you have to be firm, but nice as well. Then they usually walk away. We go to number 14, fake Wi-Fi hubs. While you can find Wi-Fi anywhere these days, some of those free unlocked connections may be dangerous. Hackers will set up tempting unsecured Wi-Fi hotspots in public locations that unsuspecting victims eagerly connect to. Giving the thief access to your computer, to your password, online accounts, you name it. To be safe from this, always ask the hotel or coffee shop staff or even the airport staff which Wi-Fi connection is the official one. To encrypt all your online activity, always use a VPN, Virtual Private Network. You can subscribe to this. We go to the last, number 15, fake hotel wake-up call. This one is pretty scary, huh? You get a phone call in the middle of the night from someone pretending to be a front desk agent of the place you're staying at, but it's only a scammer. They ask for your credit card details to confirm your reservation. Again, never, never give out sensitive information to anyone. If you have to, then go down to the front desk early in the morning if there is a problem. Okay guys, that's it. I gave you 15 important travel scams that you need to know. This is very important, huh? especially when we travel. I don't want you to be a victim of travel scams or else your vacation might not be a good vacation at all. So please remember all these. Now, there are still a lot of travel scams, so I plan to do a part two on this. If you know of any more travel scams, then just feel free to put it in the comments below. So yeah, till my next vlog, you take care and always stay safe. Bye!